There's nowhere to go. 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 You like to play games, but you kinda suck. That's okay, so does SJ. Welcome to another episode of SJ Scrubs. I'm Sarthy Jack, and we're back scrubbing Resident Evil Village, right? Uh, picking up right where we left off. Uh, just entered Castle Dimitrescu, I think the sign said. Um, but uh, the, it's a hallway that leads to like a... I don't even know what to call this room. Maybe a wine... like... Are these wine barrels? This seems like a pretty crappy entrance to the castle. Well, well. Oh, goodness. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Are you tough. Magneto? Who the f*** are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. I mean, he does not... Oh, goodness. Mother Miranda is gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> he definitely does not sound local. I mean, this is like where? Somewhere in Europe? I don't even know what that accent is. You're not local. Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> okay, so he got stabbed in the chest. He got his hand eaten off. Uh, he got stabbed in the chest before when he was being chased by all those guys near the start. The man is of no real use to anyone else. And my I don't know how he's still alive. Uh, entertaining foreigners. Uh. Furthermore, I can show you you Oh goodness. To don't like that. My I don't and I ah, okay. Way ugly if I want to see. <laughs> he's awake. Brother, shut the fuck up. What? Oh, goodness. Where? A lot of you mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yak, yak, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn heart! Ready and for what? And don't be a sore loser. You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well. Oh, to keep growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego. Fight! 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 Hey, fight don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Okay. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen. We thank you. I mean, he's holding that hammer with one begin. hand. That's impressive. Let's see what you have there. Ethan Winters. Get ready. How does he know my name? Okay. Okay. Hi. 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 Hi, fellas. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Okay, you gonna jump down the hole? Two, I'm gonna jump down the hole, idiot. Okay. Uh. Wait. What is happening here? Oh, I'm assuming I have to run. That's right. Run for your life. Okay. Don't have to ask me twice. Nope, don't want to go that way. Okay. Okay. Here, okay, we're at this is where we are now. Oh, hey, 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 fella, hey, we can be friends. We can be friends. Okay, how is he? Am I dead? Okay, how is he? How is this guy still alive? He just took a friggin' anvil to the head.
Uh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, I'm going there. Uh, okay. Ooh, come on. Ooh. Oh, it's still okay. okay. You truly are as strong as they say. Uh, oh, you uh, think I've let you get away? Uh, uh, Gotta keep Donna and Moreau in There's nowhere to go. There's. So now it's time. There's nowhere to go. 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 There's nowhere to. Nothing like fresh American ground beef. Too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? That was unpleasurable. And that's all I have to say about it. <sighs> mm. Oh gosh, what are the what are these things could Oh gosh. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Not a bit. I did not like that one bit. Oh, I'm back here. Okay then. Did I did I did these guys just forget about me? Like did I did have I escaped their tricks and wiles? What on earth? Also, I feel like if you've got the wherewithal to like build up a monster army, maybe you should also have the wherewithal to keep your castle from like crumbling into a ruin. Ooh, light. I like that. I like light. I, are those scarecrows? Are those bad guys? And I still have my weapons, apparently. I don't know why. I'm so, so help me if you come down. I'm gonna lose my crap. Oh, there's birds. There's birds with money. And I'm gonna get them. I hear a... I hear a, a goat. I hear a goat. One of these things is gonna jump out at me and I'm gonna friggin... pee my pants. Ha! That looks unpleasant. All of these guys look very... Un unpleasantized. Okay, are there more? I think I missed my opportunity to get some get some bird gold. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone That's a big has boy. heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah. And so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Okay. Got some things to say about this. First of all, it, it's it's not that he's a big he is a big boy, but I mean that's not what I'm commenting on. It's the fact that he's literally beside a castle that apparently is full of psychotic maniacs. Uh, that's located in the middle of a village that is filled with cannibalistic monsters, and this guy has a lot of meat on him. 
Like, I don't know why they're taking everybody else. Like, you take this guy, you don't need to take anybody else. So I don't know how this guy's still alive. He certainly doesn't look like he can run all that fast. He is in a, in a carriage, and the horse hasn't been eaten. So, I mean, I guess he's got the chops to survive, but I don't know how. Oh, yes. Okay. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. So, supplies. What do we have? We have extra baggage. We have shotgun ammo. So, the... Okay, so that's for the shotgun. I don't think I need any bullets. Uh, gunsmithy. I'm using my handgun a lot. This is always, see, whenever it's something like this, this is where I always kind of like, I'm suspicious because I feel like I'm going to spend all of my gold or what is it, lay uh, on upgrading this handgun or upgrading the shotgun and like just afterwards I'm going to find a gun that's like twice as good as either of them and then I'm going to be like, why? Why did I waste my money? Uh, what's the Duke's purse? Oh, I can sell things. Um, well, I, the other thing that I, uh, that I hate about stuff like this is like crystal skull, crystal fragment, fragment of what? Am I going to sell this and then get to like the end of the game and they're going to be like input all the crystal fragments into this one spot to unlock the super secret. And I'm going to be like, dang it. Um, okay. You know what? I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. Listen, you're buying this because I'm selling it. Um, this is all an investment, Ethan. Mm. Power. What's it at now? 100 to 110? Man. I am going to pass on all of this. A good deal, if I say so myself. I'm probably going to regret that. I hope to meet you again, Duke. Alright. Uh, there, goat. Okay, see, this is an entrance. Actually, it's a little bit less grandiose than I would think for a castle, but, you know. Better than a crumbling ruined tunnel. Could Rose be here? Uh, can, oh, I can break these. Hey -oh. Get that, get that money. Yeah, and I already, I can't, I can't get out. <laughs> I'm going to regret having not bought anything. January 5th, Red Nick, delivery of one male, three females. Ooh. January 28th, Mother Miranda, meeting with Mistress Dimitrescu. February 1st, the Duke, business discussions. See, I want to know... Oh, that's pretty. Three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Aw, that's sweet. Uh, oh. <coughs> Smashy, smashy. I want to know why uh, the vampire lady had it in for me, but didn't have it in for the merchant. Like, the Duke obviously came here for business discussions. He did not come for eating discussions. You know what I'm saying? But somehow, I got the right end of this. Uh, can I break this? No, I don't want to put down the mine. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm, I, you know, it's quiet. I'm absolutely waiting for, for somebody to just, like, jump out and just make me poop my pants. Okay. 
Oh, oh. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all. I... What is this? N Nor... Norstein's Labyrinths. A craftsman of the late 19th century, Norstein was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norstein, what a name, then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Great. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norstein's four beloved... What? Four beloved wives. Ooh. Busy guy, this Norstein. The labyrinths are their graves. So that's a dude's wife. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, and a save. Gonna do that. I'm just gonna put this out there. First of all, one beloved wife is enough. I'm 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 happy with my one. Uh secondly, if you are creating a grave for your wife that looks like this, you have some real issues. Uh it did say he put a gun to his temple, and that begins to make more sense. Okay. I heard a scream and I didn't like it. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. I don't like it. Nope. Mask the angel's blinded gaze. I, I did catch that. Mm mm. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh. Man blood. Oh, man. Ooh. The, how is this guy still alive? Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Other brothers and sisters? Let's see how special you are. Yes, Mother. Yes, Mother. <laughs> oh. That can't feel great. That can't feel great. Hmm. Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, she litters. There will be enough for everyone. See that? She just <laughs> threw Udama. the handkerchief on the ground. Hey, hey, wait. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, thank you. She picked it up. <laughs> it's conscientious. Uh, okay. 
but okay. Oh, I can, I can. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, come on. That is just unsanitary. Okay, that's not how medicine works. Okay, okay. So a couple of things to unpack here. First of all, he got two sickles in the legs, then dragged down a number of hallways to get to here. Then he had his hands chunked up on hooks that he kind of just ripped off of. Just, you know, Samsoned his way off of them. And, uh, and now he's just up and about. So, like... He already got... Now, when he was running through the, uh... The... Whatever that was with the... Ceilings with spikes and everything else. That huge guy just knocked him in the head with a hammer. Twice, I think. He's been... You know, stabbed in the chest. Oh. Twice, at least. Uh, had his hand eaten off. So this guy has had enough... Trauma just general bodily trauma to absolutely have been dead hours ago. I, I'm not sure how this guy is alive. No idea. And they left me with my guns, which I, for reasons unknown, did not use at all in that interchange. Okay. Where? Oh, I need a lockpick for that. Here's what's gonna happen. Can I smash that? That's right. That's right. I'm gonna break all your stuff, lady. Um, I'm gonna walk out the door, and those vampires are going to be there, and I'm gonna poop my pants. This is where something like grabs me. Got rats. I wonder if I I wonder if the rats are loaded. Maybe I can shoot the rats for money. Uh anything good in there? No. Uh what do we got here? Pick up. Maroon eye ring. Okay. Where does this spit me out? There's gonna be something right here. I know it. I don't... I... Mm, I do not like this. <coughs> at all. At all. Hold on. Somehow my health is at green. Uh, I... Okay. Uh, I am going to... I feel like that is... Good. Okay. There's going to be... Oh, I'm... What? Okay, I'm back here. Was this Am I supposed to go back here? Oh wow, maybe I was supposed to go out here. Where have they taken Rose? 
Oh, goodness, what's happening? Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you what. This feels... Oh, oh we meet again! We do meet again! Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Okay, so another couple of things. First of all, somehow this guy managed to get in here. And while the vampires were busy hooking, literally hooking me up, uh, this guy just, you know, he just came in, waddled in, sat down, let's have some sales, let's do business, and these vampires didn't touch him? Like, this is... Like, come on, guys. Oh, yeah. He's right here. Eat him, not me. Pay me no mind. Okay. Ooh, that crimson glass is worth it. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. Okay, well, I think... I think at this point I can buy... I don't know what that sound was, but I didn't like it. Um, do I get more baggage space? Okay, how much do I have? A good deal. Not a whole if lot. I say, as you wish. You know what? I, as much as I'm sure that the gun purchase will help me out, I'm, I'm skilled at all sorts of gonna buy. And we'll do them for a small fee. I'm gonna buy the baggage space. Oh, patron! I just Securing got. Securing goods is more important. Good day, oh, then. that's a ton of space. Okay. Um. Okay. She's gonna be here. She's gonna be. She's gonna friggin' be here. Oh, this brings me back out to here. Ooh, can I leave now? I can't. I'm a little sad about that. Oh. Is that him? Oh, it is him. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> hey, man, I feel you. I I've been there. Well, I have a feeling, given that the save thing is in the Duke's room, she's going to come out of nowhere. I know it. Uh, given that the save thing is in the Duke's room, I think... No. Uh, I think that that's a safe room. I'm pretty sure that's a safe room. So if something starts chasing me, absolutely, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be booking it back to that room. Can I break these things? Yeah, that's right. Come on, idiots. That's what you get for hooking my hands. All right. I hear doors opening. I don't like it. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dim. Oh, it's Dumatresque, which I would have never in a thousand years guessed. Can be traced as far back to as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Domitresk uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her vin best vintage is Sanguis Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. 
It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Gee, I wonder what the special ingredient is. Uh... Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for this shoe to drop. Get some money from that. Don't mind if I do. I'm, I'm, my shoulders are so tense right now. <laughs> oh, well, Maroon I ring can't use this as is. Examine. Well, all right then. What? Ah, <gasps> uh, I don't like No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, that's gross. Okay, I'm not sure how he's surviving that. <laughs> I haven't cut open okay. a bag in a while. Uh, you don't want to cut me Let open. Let me string you up. I, no. Slice your jugular. No. And just watch. No. Nope. Taken alive, nope. dead, which would you prefer? None. None. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, get out of here. <laughs> You gonna come down? You gonna? Cause I gotta. You gonna fall on some bullets? Oh, good grief! <sighs> June nineteenth, nineteen fifty-eight. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. Okay, if you're going to any workplace and your boss feels the need to tell you, like, oh, by the way, I won't bite. Not the best place to work. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Also, a tip off that the place that you're working is not great. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. Ghost wailing is uh, yet another tip-off. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, so apparently they don't like windows, and the cellar, which I'm assuming that I'm in now, is the place where people go to never be seen of or heard of again. So that's great. I'm thrilled about this. What a delightful turn of events. I hear, like... Fancy music? Oh goodness. Why am I why am I crawling towards her? Can she see me? Okay. I'm so I'm so tense right now so tense and they're and they're just keeping shotgun bullets just you know for kicks and giggles uh, can I open that can't is there anything else that I can get 
What are those? What are those? Are those... Those are baby birds. What? What? Okay. Uh... Oh. Hello. As I make all of the noise. Uh, okay. So she went out this door. Which I can't go out. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. Something's gonna happen. <coughs> Something's gonna happen, and I will not stand for it. Uh, okay. Are these things gonna, like, come to life? Because that would be bad. Oh. Trust in light. Oh, look. The game developers like their, uh, Legend of Zelda puzzles. <coughs> they need th that. That should have had the Legend of Zelda secret music play. Uh. Do I have a light? I don't know that I have a flashlight. I don't know that I have a flashlight. Oh! Okay, well apparently he just turns it on and off uh, when he wants to. Okay, well tell you what, since I feel like this is just gonna get absolutely hairy, I'm gonna stop this episode right here and wait until the next one to do this because my shoulders are so tense right now that I don't think they can handle it. Um, but at any rate, if you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, hopefully I have regained a little bit of my honor. Uh, I, I can hear something walking around. With this past episode um, manned up maybe a little bit more than previous ones. But at any rate, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.